While filming this video for a spray detailer, I didn't realize this would be the last time I would ever polish the bead rod. As I'm getting her clean after a long riding season, I find myself falling in love with the bike all over again. The way the chrome reflects back the image of myself smiling as the grime dissipates to reveal her beauty. So how does one go from this moment of obsession to selling the bike he truly loves? Not easily, not easily. I am caught up in looking ahead, looking towards the future of my motorcycle life and waiting for the next best thing. Shortly after filming, interest was peaked to if I would ever entertain selling the B-Rod. It started as a strong hell no, but as time wore on, one starts to contemplate it. The market is good for used motorcycles, and I could probably get what I paid back for it, if not a little bit more. Needless to say, the future is ever-changing, and I struck a deal with the local rider who has a strong passion for the B-Rod. Seeing the glimmer and eagerness in his eyes, I could tell he would enjoy the bike more now over the next five years than I ever could. A deal was worked out, and as I sat there, signing the paperwork and getting the finances in line, I asked him, would you mind if I rode it to deliver it? I want one last ride with her. The gentleman agreed, and we arranged a date where I would deliver the bike to him hand over the title, and supply the cash to me. This is that last ride. So I didn't want to record a motor vlog of me riding to the delivery location, as I felt perhaps my emotions would be a little shaky. Besides, I really just wanted to enjoy the ride at hand. As I set out from my house, the memories of the bike started racing through and you realize all the laughs you didn't sit back to cherish. The first thing was what we saw earlier of me detailing the V-Rod. I did appreciate this moment, but not realizing I would never clean her up again struck a small chord. I love to detail the motorcycles and the V-Rod was no different. I'm going to miss all the chrome and the flashiness. I've never experienced a motorcycle like this in my life. The lines are elegant and sleek. The shape and the positioning make it truly one of the most gorgeous motorcycles I've ever seen. The next thing that popped in my head was the modifications I was doing to it. A lot of YouTube motor vloggers are guilty of this, and that is to film, 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 and not enjoy the moment. The last modification I did was the installation of the foot pegs. It was a simple thing, but I don't hardly remember it. All I remember is changing this camera to that angle, getting this shot and that shot, but the actual work on the motorcycle is lost. Changing the foot pegs isn't necessarily the biggest memory one can make, but it proves towards the ultimate point I'm aiming towards. Lastly, we had the turmoil I went through getting the bike to ride straight for me. While I did find this annoying, I also took on the challenge associated with it. Trying and failing and trying and failing while discouraging eventually taught me a very valuable lesson related to the motorcycle. I was so used to the way other bikes rode that I tried to ride the V-Rod the same way. Once I found the perfect counterbalance, a strong bond was formed and I was able to enjoy the V-Rod over the last season. Had I known when I set out for the season this would have been my first and last with it, I feel I would have tried to achieve more with it. Instead, it was just part of the shuffle and I opted for other motorcycles on some journeys. I'm glad to have made the memories on those motorcycles, but my ride memories for the V-Rod are limited to a handful of longer rides. Before I made my last turns into the subdivision, a feeling of calm rushes over me. 
I twist the throttle hard one last time to hear the engine roar, to feel my heart skip a beat as she accelerated down the road. This five seconds is something I'll remember forever. As we pull into the driveway, I want to reiterate the theme of the last. I know as I squeeze the clutch in and coast up the driveway, this was it. This was the last time I'd ride the bike as its owner. I sat there for a few minutes, waiting for the garage to open. I said my goodbyes and turned her off for the last time. Now you probably recognize the new owner, the previous owner, my dad, what's up Bob? The smile on his face is why I made this happen. It's hard to predict when your next, the last, will occur, so I urge you to all enjoy every moment of every day, whether that be with your family and loved ones, or riding a thousand miles to escape the stresses of life. This is what the journey is all about. When a, the last, happens, we pray that the journey is not truly over. As one chapter closes, however, another one may present itself, giving us a plethora of firsts. Learn from it and seek from the most enjoyment you can, as eventually another last is inevitable. Stay tuned for a future video about the full reason of today, but until then, this is Chopper Fett signing off from the dark side, as this is the way. Mm -hmm.